And now the TCN Evening News with anchorman Dan Degnan. Good evening, and welcome to this special edition of the Tropicana Communications Network. Tonight, we pay tribute to one of our comrades and compatriots. He comes from Finland, and he talks sort of funny, but you gotta love the guy. Of course, we're talking about none other than Perti Reula, our Vice President Director of Marketing on the orange juice business, who has decided to fly to Coop for more temperate climes of Chicago. Our roving reporter, John Bauer and I, were anxious to know more about the people and products that Peter would be working with at Alberto Culver. Imagine our excitement when we received a tip that some of the AC folks were here in town. Dan and I have had a tip that three of Peter's star performers at Alberto Culver are here, now, in Bradenton, in this Albertson store on Highway 41. Now, we don't want to miss the chance for an interview with these people who will soon dominate Peter's life. So we're going to go see if we can find them right now in the store before they leave, right? I said enough. Let's yeah. get them. Let's go. Dan and I are going to see if we can find these three stars now. They've got to be, I think the best place to start might be uh, up here at the customer service. Good idea, Dan. Let's go down right now. Find someone that looks important. Someone who looks like they might know what's going on in the store. And uh, we don't, we just don't know. And uh, I don't know. Let's see. Uh, he, well, sort of. Uh, this, this guy, Doug looks like, Doug? Doug, you look like you're important. Can we ask you a quick question? Well, we've been told there are three stars in this store. We're trying to find them. We don't know what they look like. It's Papa and Mrs. Dash and a Molly McButter. McButter. Have you seen them in the store? Uh, last I saw them, they were on aisle 13 on the B side. That's fabulous. Thank you, Doug. Great. We know where they are. Let's go find them. Come on. Let's. We'll get there. Come on through here. Can you follow me with the camera? Is that all right? Oh, yeah. Do Coming down around this aisle or something. I'm, the guy, I mean, it was pretty fresh news. He said they were right here. Somewhere. Somewhere. Stan, uh, some, what, what? What are, you, what are you saying? Down. Oh, for crying out loud. What is this? Mrs. Dash. Mo not butter spuds. Molly McButter. What's up, John? They're seasonings. Oh, Jesus, what a lousy tip. Dan, where'd you get that tip from? Hey, I worked all day getting that tip. These aren't celebrities. These are, these are seasonings. That wraps it up here at the Albertsons. Um, we, found, we found two of the three celebrities, Mrs. Dash and then her illegitimate daughter, Mrs. Butter, Molly McButter. I guess that's it. We're done. Thanks. We went out into the Tropicana community to find out the kind of impact that Peter's leaving will have on those of us who have known and loved him. Peter who? <laughs> Are you serious? Well, I don't know too much about it. I just, I was here on a, I went on vacation, just got back, you know, a couple weeks. About seven weeks off on vacation, I just got back, so I don't know what's going on when I just got back to work. I kind of like Pete. Do you? Yeah. What do you think about him leaving? Are you sad? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, he, he was, uh, who was that? Peter Rayula? Hey, Rayula. Rayula, yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah, yeah, we're sad, we're sad. We'll miss him. God, first time I heard of him. Really? Yeah. Did you know him? Yeah, I knew him. He's a good guy, wasn't he? He's a good guy. Uh, yeah, I know him. He's a good guy, isn't he? Yes, yeah, sir. Have you ever had dinner over at Peter's house? Once in a while. Uh, what, what's his favorite meal? His favorite meal? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Who's that? <laughs> Other community members will soon, not soon forget the impact that Peter has had on their lives. We go now to some of the higher class establishment that Peter frequents. Hi, I'm down at the scoreboard. Peter Ray taught me everything I know how to cook here. He calls this the sponge burger. It's pretty tasty. A lot of people like it. it. Sells big. Here's to you, Peter. We go now to a local mall where John Bauer has found a groundswell of grief and concern about Peter's leaving. We all know the devastating effect that Peter's leaving will have on us here at Tropicana. 
But the remarkable and heartwarming phenomenon that we have encountered is how Peter's leaving has affected the average man on the street in Bradenton. We're here at DeSoto Square Mall talking to regular folks about the tragic loss they feel as Peter leaves this fine city. By now, I'm sure that you've heard about Peter Rayula leaving Tropicana. How's that going to affect you and your family? It's not. <laughs> but obviously, you and your family are aware of Peter and the fine contributions he's made to both Tropicana and Bradenton. No, not really. Thank you. Hi, ma'am. We'd like you to pronounce two words for us, please. See these words? Pretty Rejula. <laughs> Pretty Rejula? Pretty Rejula? Looks like pretty and Rejula. Pretty Rejula. Pridget, Pri Pridget and Rejula. Peretti, um, Rejula. I'd like you to, to ask you whether those words in your mind best describe a Gold Coast Resort complex, the Latin name for an herbal root, or a balsam based shampoo for thinning hair. You want to hear those again? Yeah an ancient Egyptian artifact, a fjord in Finland, or an exclusive man, a brand of Italian men's shoes? <laughs> uh, the second one. The Gold Coast Resort Complex? Are you changing those? <laughs> yes, I am. That, that was correct. <laughs> okay. Thank you. By now, maybe you've heard, you, you read the papers and, and watch the news about Peter Oyula. He's leaving Tropicana. How's that going to affect you and your family? Not a damn bit. Not, not, not at all? No. Even a little bit? No. Not, a, not even a smidgen? No. And back here at Tropicana, they were lined up outside Bill Weintraub's door as Mr. Weintraub held open auditions for Peter's job. Seems just about everyone figured that if a Finn could market the number one orange juice, so could they. I guess I'm overqualified. <laughs> well, at one time I was his secretary and he made me do everything. So of course I could do his job. Why do I want to have Peter's job? That's obvious. I've been here five years. I know the system. I know every single test we've done. Of course I deserve Peter's job. Why not? There are two reasons why I feel I am best qualified for Peter's job. Number one, like Peter, I have many years of beverage experience. And number two, I'm half Italian like Peter. Haven't you ever noticed how well he uses his hands in body language? Yo soy la mejor cualificada para este trabajo. See, I told you I could speak Finnish. Bill, I think I'm very qualified for this position given that I know how to make special sponge brownies, which could be an excellent tie-in promotion partner for our orange juice products. And I, um, I, I think it's especially important that we do tie-in promotions. As it turned out, one particular question eliminated most of the Peter wannabes. Yeah, that's good. Uh, I do have one last question. Where do you keep your orange juice at home? Well, I keep my OJ in the cooler. Orange juice? My family only drinks Sunny Delight. Well, 78.2% of the time, I keep it in my vesting house. The rest of the time, I take it camping. Well, you know, in Finland, it's so cold, we keep the juice right here with us. Of course, Bill. In our house, we keep the orange juice in the refrigerator. Finally, I found somebody who can fill Peter's shoes. Congratulations, you have the job. Of course, only Peter can be Peter. That's the way it is. Saturday night, November 16th, 1991. This is Dan Degnan. Good night. <laughs>